Hey everybody, just looking at my crazy hair. It's been raining here, so of course I came in in the rain. <laughs> So I just wanted to do my classroom tour for you. So this is the um, final episode, but it is not the final fixing up of my room because as I will explain, it is a work in progress. I don't feel like any teachers ever complete their classroom because when you feel like you've done everything, something else pops up and you have to do that and then there's that and there's always something that needs to be done and this time's pretty hectic too because we started back last um, Monday and of course I am now doing all my planning now we know where my kids sit in the classroom where they are on levels for reading and maths we're doing all their planning now so that's hectic 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 and all the reading group planning so of course I don't have any time now to finish off things like labels and posters and things so it is a work in progress that I will get to do as the year goes on and I'm sure more things will pop up and knowing me I will probably change my room around a little bit as well because I do that I get tired already I change their seating around it used to be it was in groups for the first week when the students come back it's in rows because I just felt like I needed to do that I have a few chatter boxes in the class felt I needed to change things up so kids will get a nice surprise when they come back I'll have to find their desk so yeah work in progress I hope you will enjoy my classroom tour um, if there's anything you want to know about put it down in the comments below and I can do a little um, vlog on that for you if that's what you'd like so thanks for watching and I'll catch you later welcome to my classroom Okay, when we first come in, we've got our fish, Nemo and Dory. <laughs> I think you might be going to feed them, so they come up for a look. The kids love them. Hello. <laughs> okay, first up, so we have an area where we come in in the morning, the kids put their homework folders, which of course being only the end of week one, we haven't started yet, but we will be on to homework We'll be practicing it in class this week and completing it at home starting next week. We also have two boxes here for drink bottles. So the kids bring their drink bottles in the morning and stick them into these containers. I haven't put labels on them yet because, I, oh, so many labels. The bottom ones, the yellow and the black, are just full of my teacher teaching things, books, so the kids know not to touch them. So we come around, maybe I should just give you a little sweep of the classroom first. So, teaching area. Okay, so a little sweep of the classroom. Okay, so after our sweep of the classroom, we walk around here and I have my really cute owl, which your kids and parents think is full of goodies, but no. It's just a cookie jar full of pigs. <coughs> Surprise! Over here we have our library, we have a bean bag and some cushions for the kids to have a lay down when we do our learning centres and read to self time. So those lucky children that are chosen will be able to go on there. Here in front we have our share, so this is our share area and I have stamps and what are they, rubbers and sharpeners, whiteboard markers, glue, highlighters, fancy fancy scissors um, staplers hole punches red whiteboard markers because I hate red 
crayons down here we have the students headphones nothing in there yet this one I'll show you where that is and we have magnifying glasses as well and we have our stuff reading buddies in there um, I haven't label <laughs> labeled those as you can see on my to-do list this is not a fully ready classroom tour this is a nearly ready and really when is ever a room ready I just feel I finish and then there's something else pops up so it's a work in progress probably for the rest of the year so here's something I brought this pot plant a week a week and a half ago and I showed it in my back to school tag from EJ Kafupuls and I said I wasn't much of a green thumb well I forgot to water it last week and he's a little bit a little bit sad so I just watered him so hopefully he'll feel better okay so our classroom library and we come around here to my area here so we have our printer the printer this printer is one that I share with the teacher next door so we've got that we've got some books that aren't in the library because I'm not sure if the kids need them they're pretty young reading levels because I did teach you one and two and now I'm three so they're just there in case I need them we come over to here we have the essentials for any teacher a bar fridge and a microwave I was thinking of putting my kettle but the other day I just put my water and my coffee in and blasted it with the microwave and it worked fine so I have that so starting here this is my spelling area so in these are all my spelling activities that the kids will be doing when they come in it's a words their way program but I do also do different spelling skills for the um, word work for the spelling work that they do so that's all they're waiting to be organized a little bit better um, here is something that I picked up from the lettered classroom so in here are all the days of the month so it goes up to of course 31 not that we always use 31 but it goes up to 31 so and it has the months of the year so January so what happens is that well 24th 25th and 26th can now come out the 27th the 28th so we go back to school on the 29th so what I will do which I can't really see myself doing oh yeah I take them out and I put them to the back so I move these along and if I had two hands it probably would work a little bit better okay sorry about that got a little bit stuck okay I have realized though that <laughs> I brought this lovely file folder holder and I brought it to match my decor in my room, the nice black. But I realise it was not as big and doesn't fit as many files in. It fits all the days of the month in there up to 31 and a couple of months. But when you put things in, it gets a little bit squishy. So I am going to buy another one and stick it here and, and have it just rotate that way like it's one big one. So it'll only have half in this box and half in the next box. So how it works is that, say I'm doing some work at home and I come across a great February um, activity for Valentine's Day that I'd like to do. I stick it into the folder marked February, like that. I stick it in there because I put in a copy, a master copy in there and think, yep, that's what I want to do. Or sometimes I'll even do a whole class set and stick them in there, which I have done. I've already got something in there for word problems that are coming up so as it gets closer to that month or even at the beginning of that month I go okay of course on the 14th of February that's when I'd like to to do that activity if not the day before so I would do it on the 13th of February which is here so I would stick that in there for the 13th every week when I come in on the Monday I have a look at the days of the week that I need I take out the activities I either bring them over here for some photocopy or I stick them into my um, planning for that week what day I'm going to do it I definitely do look at it the week before so I know in here now for this week coming I have some work in there for February but nothing that's going to go come into the first or the second um, because I don't have anything prepared in here because it is I use it just for when I find things I really want to do with the class and I'm not sure when I want to do them but I really want to do it so I stick them in and then when it gets close to the date I stick them on a day of the month and then when I get to that week they go over into my weekly planning 
so that's how I do that so when I get my second um, file folder holder I will go into that a little bit more detail and show you what I have in there so moving on yes here we are the most important things also too up here just a few cards oh don't forget up here I've started already children have brought me my students have brought me some lovely things that I just want to display because I like to this is something I got from a student oh, so many years ago she's in like year 11 or 12 maybe she's left um, doesn't have a date on it or does it oh yeah 2013 so five years ago and I taught five years ago so she'd be in t year 10 I think so I keep that because that's really really cute so here is just my teacher toolbox yes I'm missing a drawer because my son lost it we won't go there here are some photos I want to put up so here is my son on his formal night here at the school gorgeous boy so here is where I decided to hang my gorgeous polka dot in black like with a chalkboard on it and I've got our behavior chart on there and I'll just stick other important things that if I have a relief teacher or someone they can come in and have a look coming down here this of course is where all oh, I hate all that area also too that's a box that has all the electrical stuff in it I've hung up my um, oh here we go I've hung up my vests that we need to have when we go out on playground duty and my hat i have my um duty roster there and down here i just fill that with forms that need to go out such as head lice forms i'll probably put excursion notes in there so this is just something i made oh, years ago but it's good so i just put all my notes that need to go out maybe constantly okay coming over here um, this is something a student made me last year for Christmas. So gorgeous. I actually have that student back in my class this year. She's a stunner. She's beautiful. She's a great student in my classroom. Also got a fan. I did go through menopause. Probably still going through it. <laughs> Comes in handy. Um, down here I have my filing three beautiful ones that were my inspiration so there's laminating there's photocopying and to file which I haven't got anything to file just yet come over here and I have my days of the week work so I know what I need to do so there's some things in there because if you're like me in the first week you sort of over plan and you don't get it all done I'll put it in there and we'll get back to that this week so if I don't within a few weeks it'll probably get put into these folders I just wanted to show you these folders so these folders this is my phone holder for during the day so I don't lose it these folders I use for when I'm working through the week I don't know what other people do but I'm not the most organized every day so what I do when I do a lesson or an activity or something in the classroom I when we're finished I stick it in here so all this is all last week's things that we did last week and I also have them it so I can stick it into my filing cabinet I have it there and what will happen is when I get a chance in the next few weeks if I come in on a week end I will go through these files and put things in where they need to go like these are back to school um, some grammar some math work I'll put them into the correct files in my cabinet and things that I think can just stay in here that I will need next year for day one week one of next year like I will probably leave in these folders which I did last year and at the end of the year I just go through it and work out oh I might use that for week one in my new year or week two so I just like to keep some things in these um, things that there were maths and English that need to go into the filing cabinet which ta-da I decorated as you know so I will put them into the filing cabinet under the maths or English I'm not going to show you inside my filing cabinet because it's a bit scary maybe one day over here I have my personal printer I have my brag tags and I have my hole punch and some other things brag tags and in here it's just paper, different white papers so I have really thin white paper I have cardstock and just copy paper um, that is nothing exciting at the moment here I have my of course assessment booklet and this lovely thing that I learned to work to use and I love it so here's where I put my 
computer in the morning and this is where I do running records with my students so they'll come up and sit on this side I'll sit on this side and I'll do my running records all that information gets stored in here in these folders here which as you can see nothing happening there um, my doorbell the kids absolutely loved it thought it was magic don't we all so this is my working teacher desk um, so here in this one is when the kids finish something for me to mark they put it in there and I haven't decided yet what I'm doing with that at the moment it's just got things I need to put away that I don't need this is a stack of things I am taking home of course this is really cute a student brought me this first day I had her sister ooh, about three years ago and they remembered that I liked owls so the little sister brought me this too cute I have a lovely big desk planner where I put all my duties in and I for the, so I know when I have duties and to write things on here so we're pretty much at the end of the month now so I'll have to rip that page off but I got that from Officeworks I think it was like $5 it's fantastic because it has the corners so they don't get all caught up this doesn't go here <laughs> this is my tool basket that's going away now in here I have all my coloured papers so I'm a bit anal stuck them in pinks and reds um, black and greys browns and I think there was oranges I'm not sure no oranges in here orange and yellow and all the different greens so I stuck them all in there um, down the bottom just a few other files that I have and my new ones there that I have in there curriculum folders and textbooks so coming out of there oh this box way down here this is new magazines for art now coming around here is my literacy area so I have group one two three four and five in the black boxes is where I put their workbooks into the colored boxes is where um, their uh, stuff <laughs> their books that they'll read or any activities the purple boxes on the side will be filled with hands-on activities and games that they can use during literacy if they finish anything in a rotation I do two rotations at a time I do do my cafe so here's my cafe I haven't started of course because I need to look at running records and get some done to start figuring out what the kids need um, most of my kids will probably up to fluency and vocabulary they're pretty good readers and my lovely oh I added an extra nothing in it yet but it will probably get filled up so an extra trolley from home it was full of scrapbooking letters oh it was amazing so to my husband I found all these letters that I forgot I had so I actually put them in my study in the scrapbooking area into containers that I can see and now I will use them so that's just here there's a few things in it not much and don't forget my classroom staples as like highlighters and colored pencils here is from the lovely from the pond um, my I got the strategies I love it I love the whole area just here underneath we have our QAR um, display posters um, question answer relationships we do that for our comprehension that's for my higher kids in grade three here so the right there think and search author and me and on my own if you're not sure what they are and you want me to um, let you in on that and how I use that in my classroom let me know in the comments because I'd be happy to share I love literacy groups here here is you know those books that students bring in late from the first day and you've already packed everyone else's away because they brought them on the first day and then these come at the end of the week yep they've got to be sorted so that's something I need to do during the week hmm. here if we go around here on the back of our literacy area we have my writing area so on here we have cops which we are doing for our um, editing for writing so we have that and I leave this is all um, <laughs> papers that I didn't use oh compare and contrast actually I was going to use them and I thought I'd thrown them all out so maybe I can salvage some of them because we actually do a book from last year for the first book this year Oh, so I thought I'd thrown it all out because I didn't need it being I thought the kids could use it but now I've looked at that I need to turn that over and 
I might be able to use some of that. I also have colours, pencils, lead pencils in case students don't have them, textures. We also do seven steps to writing success. So if you've never heard of the seven steps, this is what we use here at school. It's about sizzling starts and um, planning and how to write. So it's a whole program. Once again, if you want to know more, let me know in the comments because it is a good, in fact, it's a great writing resource. Love it. And we do it at school. These boxes down here contain just extra um, pens, texts and things that the children can't access. They know they're not to access, they're just for me. And right down the bottom is all the games for when we have rainy days. We have a whole bunch of games I can play. So we come around here and this is my carpet area. And I did change it around slightly um, because the kids didn't fit. Well they did but it was a little bit squashy. So I end up moving them around a little bit. So here we have my cart from Ikea that you s I built, yes. So it's come in really handy, put books and pens and I wonder if I have blue tack in there because I really, <laughs> hmm, can't find blue tack anywhere. We have to go out and buy more. So we did some noun work, some grammar work on Thursday. There's a book I want to read this week. There's actually a couple of books I want to read. Don't Eat the Teacher, Don't Get Burnt. First day of school we read and when I grow up I want to read so we want to do that we use the whiteboards so this is where I keep um, reading things so I have my home reading things in here which the kids will start back from home reading home next week so that just has all the folders and in there I have intervention for reading and I have literacy things I have teacher read aloud and our themes which I've showed you here is our science area haven't um, started we did do some science last week yes we did sorry we did an activity where I put down um, butcher's paper I'll insert some pictures if I can of where the kids we just in, did some life what's living and what's not living with some butcher paper and pictures just to introduce the subject unit this term so it actually is quite good we will start on the learning centers maybe this week I'm hoping hoping this week and here is all my posters here is um, whole body listening charts so they should be sitting on the carpet cross legs hands still lips closed all that sort of thing they should be doing that. Don't forget my beautiful word work. Oh, wow work, sorry. Amazing wow work. Um, our behaviour chart, which I need to get names on. We use this behaviour chart. So the children need to stay in the yellow. They need to go up to the green to get Vivo points because we're a Vivo school. Um, and if they go down, it means, you know, time out and warning and then buddy class. So buddy class, no one wants to go to buddy class. It's not fun at buddy class. Okay, over here, just a little bit of art that we did through the week. I still haven't decided on anything to put on there yet. And right here, if you can see that, that's a little plant that I got from one of my students last year. Very cute. So now we come into the math area. So this is my math area. So right here, this basket is my lost and found. So if any students find pencils, pens, instead of running to me all the time, if there's not a name on them, they throw them in here. Students are more than welcome to look through this <laughs> through the week and find out if anything in there belongs to them. Now, obviously, we don't want bits of rubbish. Obviously, someone thought they were important to keep. Um, oh, looks like we've already got a name on one. Hmm. So they can come and look in here if they've lost something, take it back to their desk. At the end of the week, if they're not, the things that are in here, if they're not put back into the spot where they should be, they will either go in the rubbish, if it's rubbish, broken, not working, or if it's pens and pencils, they go into the writing area and if it's math things I'll get students to put away because sometimes we find little counters or dice or things and they throw them in here and then we can put them away at the end of the week. This basket is for for when we do journal work so my students will do journal work and um, they've already got if we have a look in their desks 
let's have a look. So they already, I brought these for my students. So we've already started on these. I actually got them at a good price at Officeworks. So these pages here, we're going to write definitions of words. We will start that this week. But they've started, we did some graphing through the week. So they've used this. So what they will do, when we do math rotations, one of their must-dos will be to take um, a journal sheet and to fill it out at their desk. So that's one of the must-dos in our mass rotations area. So mass rotations, um, <laughs> ta -da! I still haven't done them. I still haven't put those seats up. Got one. Hmm. I better get onto that. Got the screwdriver there, ready to go. Just haven't done it yet. Um, that box that's there is we get a math kit from the resource room and it's filled with manipulatives that we may need. So I'm still deciding where to put these wonderful things because I have most of them anyway, but I'll find somewhere for them. I put another table over there because I got an extra table. If you can see that little desk there, student desk, because I got an extra one. I didn't want to take it back up to the storage room because I thought you never know when you'll get another student and you need a desk straight away. So I've kept it. It's just housing stuff. You know, I always have stuff. So I need to fill that out with names, so I must remember to do that. Put the names up for my groups. I gave them a pre-test, so I know where they're going to sit in the groups. Yellow group's my highest, pink group is my intervention group. So I know where they sit, I'll be able to put that there. Um, yeah, so it hasn't changed much. Over here, this is how many days in school. I or someone else changes it. And there's another plant over in the corner and my lamp, which I haven't turned on. But yeah, there's my plant. That one's doing all right compared to the other one. And I do have my old faithful right there that's gone through into its second year now and survived. I hope it likes it there because the other one didn't like it there and it started to molt its leaves probably because I didn't, didn't water it. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, so here's the calendar board. I've already seen that. Um, this area here is going to be like if they come in at lunch times for if it's wet weather play inside lunch play or if I have free time and they want to listen to some reading. There's two, there's actually another one or two down in that yellow box um, for um, CD players. I just have to hook them up but they uh, they can listen to them. Not sure if I'll keep that. I'll see how it goes. I don't know if they're too old in grade three to sit and listen to reading of books. I guess you're never too old. I don't think you're too old. Oh well. Um, so here we go. So we need to look at this. We've just been practicing this mini lessons, what they mean when we do math workshops. So we do a mini lesson work time and share at the end. We're starting on our three times table. I always have the date up the top. My number line. I've once again got our whole body listening here for when you're sitting at your desk. Um, because I've put desk trays in, children like to bump them with their knees and make this noise and it drives me a bit batty. <laughs> so I put them up there. Um, my owl, owl classroom voices. It's from the pond. Again, I have got so much of her stuff. They're so cute. So we've gone through our classroom voices and I've got a little, I do have an arrow that goes with it. So I'll put the arrow up so we know. Our learning intentions. So we've done maths and science. So it's our Walt and our Wilf for maths. So at the moment we're collecting data from events and um, interpreting key features of collected data and we're displaying them so we're doing that and in our is it living um, we're, we're grouping objects on observable features and our wolf is group things are they can they do that so we we will be starting getting into that this week so that's good I'm not sure where I got that from sorry now this is my timeout area and as you can see no one's doing timeout because it's full of their art books which I have to put away and then all their spare books which I have to find a spot for. Ooh, lots of books. Um, their reading boxes and down here we have their writing, spelling, has, science, um, math and English. 
so that's where they are at the moment here is the art this is the oh well here is the birthday wall which I haven't put the birthdays up yet next on my list and here is um, art so we've got paper in there newspapers we've got smocks we've got newspaper we've got paint brushes we'll have paints oh, I do lock my paints away most of the time here is my helpers we will be doing this very soon you know that first week we just don't get everything done because there's so much to do so they were my lockers I think they've turned out lovely I still just need to do that last bit there like I said work in progress up the top of my bins with lots and lots of things in there like morning folders that I don't use anymore um, hats and dress ups curriculum things which are for me um, usually I think it's mostly year two curriculum um, borders and paper and class decor like posters and things um so here which I got from Miss May I got the super improver wall which I love which I am making it sit in with our actions for success which is a reward that children get bronze silver and gold certificates and a gold pin they don't get them right to the end of the year so I've sort of made it so that these cards so you have the white card matches the beginner and when they get fill in the 10 stickers on their card they move up to a green card so we take that one home with a little certificate to show their parents and then they go on to the learner by the time they get to here I've told the students that they should be getting their bronze certificate on parade by the time they get to here they should be getting their silver certificate on parade by the time they get to here it should be their gold certificate and then after that they get their gold pin so that it's actually a good visual they can actually see where they need to be with that so really really like that from Miss May over here I have this is my teacher aid area so I just need to get a basket on here and put in some glues and stick um, scissors and things like that this is my board that I had out the front but I actually want to put if you come into work in the classroom I just want to put some what to do a map that we got from the local ombudsman Woohoo! my um, respect poster we have a growth mindset which we started a little booklet last week so I should have some things to put up in the next few weeks um, just a poster there and we are back to the beginning um, yeah so that's it Welcome to 3C 2018. As you can see, I have lots of tissues, my beautiful, beautiful class. Um, it's a voluntary, volun vo I'm going to say a donation. So they can voluntarily bring in tissues. And boy, do we go through a lot of tissues. And my beautiful class has brought all these tissues in. So this is where when I said that that was missing. I'm going to hopefully get a few doesn't look like I'll get many. Hmm. Maybe I can do it this way. I don't know. I'll work on that. Something else to do. More books to put away. But um, the majority's done and we're ready to start work. Last week was our getting a few routines in place. So, oh, I forgot to show you up here. Just up here is just some containers that just have baskets in it. And this is where the kids extra pens and pencils go. So they go into plastic bags inside those boxes and in those plastic bags they have their name and they have their extra pencils, pens, rubbers, glue. We put them in there for when they need them through the year so they don't have to go home and get it. They're already here. Book boxes. Yes, yeah, so I don't think there's anything else I need to show you. So that is my classroom tour for 2018. So that was my classroom tour. Um, 
yeah it will never be finished I'm pretty sure <laughs> the majority is done the kids can come in we can learn life is good I'm happy I'm content I'm not stressed much <laughs> with all the planning that needs to be completed by tonight it is Sunday before we go back so I'm going to sign off um, thanks for watching my setting up of my classroom series I'm hoping that in my next vlogs I'll be able to show you a few things in my classroom and I buy a few things off teachers pay teachers because I am not as clever as they are and I like to use things that are there why invent the wheel I like to use what they have so I'm thinking that I will actually review things that I use in my classroom to show you how well they are working and giving them a thumbs up from teachers pay teachers so tune in for those and I hope to have my first one up this week so thanks and bye